pot shot at the shuttle, but he's gonna have to run his last dragoon away. This scarab, the first scarab, picking off the remaining dragoon here, and wow, that was absolutely amazing. But Cal actually coming here with, with more dragoons. He's gonna if he can pick off that shuttle and then take the reaver out. He will still be able to take this match very easily. He's got still four gateways pumping out here. He's got three Dragoons. He's keeping them separated so, it, so as to avoid fire. He's picking off a lot of probes here, but he, he's taking a lot of fire as well. BC with three Dragoons as well. And the Reaver! Oh, the Reaver almost dead! Oh, the shuttle was gone! Oh, no! Oh, the Reaver had one or two hits left there, and BC oh, barely saving that Reaver there. Wow, that was that was very, very close. I think the shuttle went down somewhere. More, more Dragoons coming in here. He's, he needs to pick off that Reaver. Basically, Bisu has the tech advantage right now. He needs to neutralize the tech advantage. He's still doing a better job of target firing, um, taking out Bisu's Dragoons there. Um, but, uh, wow, Bisu now doing some target firing, though. I and mean, he's got a Reaver in play there. And, wow, Cal needs, he needs to pick off that Reaver. He needs to pick off that Reaver. He's already picked off the shuttle, but he needs to move in there and pick off the Reaver. And, uh, uh sorry, something just popped up on my screen, so I can't see it. Uh Ah, there's a big battle going on. I can hear it, but I don't even know what's going on. Oh my god, so much Dragoon blood ever. Okay, I'm seeing the video again. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> there's some Dragoons attacking each other. I could not see what was going on. It looks like Cal managed to to kill off Beast's Dragoon, uh, Reaver. It looks like that's what happened in the meantime, but Beast is going to have another Reaver out pretty soon here. He's got a nice arc of Dragoons to cover his, his expansion, I'm sorry, to cover his choke point there. And Cal going in here with only five Dragoons against six, um, not too good here. So it looks like Bisu may have fought his way back into this game here. Basically, they're at even production at this point. Cal has four gateways, and basically, basically they, have, they each have four production facilities. Cal has four gateways, Bisu has three gateways and a, and a robotics facility producing Reavers, and that is, I mean, the Reaver is going to trump the extra Dragoon per, per round of macro that um, Cal can get out there. He still does need to be careful, though. Cal could still theoretically run in there and snipe that, that Reaver, although the Reaver is on the southern end, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult for Cal to get in there and, and um, take out that Reaver. And it looks like what Cal might actually be doing is um, setting up for an expansion. Yeah, Cal's actually going to set up for an expansion. He, re I think, he realizes that this rush has not, has, is, has failed, and he's going to have to um, do something else here because, and basically, it's kind of like a, um, <clears throat> like a Zerg tactic almost. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's a valid tactic in StarCraft in any matchup. But um, ooh, Dragoon going down. He needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. He doesn't take a, a nice scarab hit in that clump, those clumped up dragoons, because that'll be able to do a lot of damage. And at this point, he's he's. Cal is actually on the defensive, he's so he's a little bit on the ropes here. He needs to be careful he doesn't take a hit like that. But um anyway. Uh what was my point? Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of times like in Zerg, if you do a with Zerg, if you do a rush and and they're well defended, especially against like Protoss, then you just use your uh, your rushing forces to do a containment and expand. And so that's kind of what Cal's doing here. He's trying to use the fact that he had a slight military advantage to expand and secure that expansion. Um, and and hopefully take an economic advantage over Bisu. Although Bisu is also taking an expansion, it looks like, um, or a, maybe I'm not it's hard to tell the map. If not, he's probably going to soon. And uh, Cal being very intelligent, moving some dragoons back here. Now Bisu, I'm surprised actually he hasn't. Um, well, I guess he he lost his shuttle, and then he lost his reaver. So he has had to replenish his forces just to get that reroute. But if a shuttle comes out, he's probably going to go and do some harassment here because I think he has enough forces on the ground to defend a counterattack by Cal, and that's usually the kind of thing you see from Bisu is almost immediately upon winning a battle, he will immediately send his forces over to do some Reaver harass um, in the shuttle, especially on Medusa. I mean, Medusa is the perfect map for that kind of thing, but he has gotten a second Reaver. He's decided to play it defensively instead. He's gotten a second Reaver instead, and we may see him move out and try and do some Reaver harass um, as, as soon as the uh, next shuttle comes out. He may try and do that because then... Um, especially if he's getting like the speed upgrade for his shuttles, um, he could go and attack and kill off some probes and then run his um, forces back, run his dragoon, sorry, run his shuttle with the reavers back and try and uh, join his main force. But Cal, very intelligently, has actually set up dragoons in some nice strategic places to stop any kind of drop coming in here. He's got three dragoons in that that nine o'clock expansion, so if a reavers uh, shuttles flying overhead. Oh, is he gonna go out? He's got no. He's actually just gonna go out and bring his reavers along with his main force and uh, do it that way. Now Cal is so far behind in tech. Now he's barely just getting out an observatory. He's gonna have observers out, and it really he should have gone for reavers first. I think he. I think he was afraid that BC was uh, tempting to dark, teching to dark templars before. And it looks like oh, okay. So Cal being very very smart, he's got those three dragoons. 
uh, at the 9 o'clock expansion. He's not bringing them out to their deaths. He almost ran him straight into Bisu's main army, but he's going to bring them behind, wait for Bisu's main army to clump up in front of his base, come in for a foot of a flank. And uh, Cal is really on the ropes here, though. Bisu has a lot of forces, and he has that tech advantage. Here comes the battle. Bisu coming in. He's going to drop out his Reavers. The Reavers drop out. Oh, Cal has moved forces in. He snipes one of the Reavers. The other Reaver, oh, does not go down. Two Dragoons going in. The two Dragoons from behind coming in for the snipe. Oh, he picks up the Reaver just in time. The Reaver picked up in that shuttle just before the final killing blow. Hit it from those flanking Dragoons that I mentioned from the 9 o'clock expansion. Cal is in real trouble. He's setting out the probes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the scare. Oh, the Reaver kills so many probes. And that is economic death. Even if he wins this battle, he does not. Cal GG's. Knowing, oh man, and I think, I really think that the turning point in that game was the probes, actually. Bisu brought his probes off, and the probes were not just attacking, but they were screwing up the AI of uh, Cal's Dragoons, and also letting them not escape and micro. The probes had surrounded them, and kept them from going anywhere, and that delayed just, 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 just barely long enough for Bisu to get his tech out and win the game. It was still tenuous at that point, but that is what um, secured the opportunity for Bisu to take the win there, so... Cal going all in, uh, pretty much all in, four gate rush, and Bisu barely defending it. Uh, Cal's reign is finally over. Uh, but guess who they're sending out next? By Hero. SDX is sending out the very Zerg player that eliminated Bisu 2 0 from the OSL and is now in the OSL round of eight. Um, by Hero. So Bisu is going to have his work cut out for him still if he's going to continue for SKT1. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Moving on, game four.